So if we look at developing explosiveness, most people are, are aware that they're fast twitch and slow twitch fibers. Um, and we try to stay away from the slow twitch fibers. So that means we're not doing like marathon training or endurance training. Uh, but instead we want to target the fast twitch. So this leads to us doing um, more explosive movements uh, in the weight room or more explosive movements uh, in general in training. Um, but something that has always been kind of interesting is, is uh, kind of optimizing your fast twitch fiber um, like percentage in the muscle. And how do you do that? Um, and actually, Jump Science has an article. I'm gonna link that article um, where he talked about taking time off. And actually, when you take time off, your uh, percentage of fast switch, or you just get more uh, fast switch fiber. So then you'll actually be more explosive after you have a period of time off. He initially said that, um, which was pretty interesting. And then I started getting into um, super training, and they have a part that pretty much says the same thing. Um, let me find the part, and I'm just gonna read it for you. So the quote from this book uh, said, after a period of resistance training, um, MHC 2X, this is bias and heavy chain. So this is the fast switch fiber that we're trying to target. Fast switch fiber content decreased from 9.3 to 2.0%. Um, and then there was actually a corresponding increase in the uh, like slow twitch. Um, so you look at that, like what, uh, after a period of resistance training, and we typically think of resistance training as targeting the fast twitch fibers because there's such, such a heavy load that you have to recruit the fast twitch fibers to accomplish uh, um, lifting that load. Another study, they said after a detraining period of three months, the amount of fast twitch reached values that were 17% higher than before and after resistance training, revealing what the researchers call myosin heavy chain 2x overshoot. Um, so this is a phenomenon called fast twitch uh, overshoot. So you have a period, say you have a period of lifting or uh, yeah, you have a period of, of heavy resistance training, um, and then they can test your, your fast twitch fiber composition, um, and it'll be whatever. But if you take like a week or two off, or even a longer time, um, your fast twitch fiber should go up. Your fast twitch fiber percentage should go up. So one thing in super training was that they said the body actually prefers to be fast twitch. Um, it's just that we have all these activities and we do so much work that it, it kind of forces us to be slow twitch, to become more efficient at doing these activities. But when you take those activities away, then the body will go back to being a uh, fast twitch. So actually like extremely sedentary people could have more fast twitch composition than uh, like a power lifter or a, a weight lifter. Um, I don't know how it would be with a purely explosive athlete, but that's it, pretty interesting. So they kind of sum this up by saying, uh, this seems to suggest that if an athlete wishes to increase the relative amount of fast twitch muscle fiber isoforms, a logical method would be to decrease the training load and allow the fastest fibers to express themselves a few weeks later. <clears throat> we can take all this and say that you need to, I mean, do the, do the period of strength training. You need to enhance strength. You need to enhance force production in sport if you want to jump higher, sprint faster. In general, that's kind of just what you have to do is uh, work on your force uh, capacity force production but um, still be aware that if you really want to enhance your performance uh, as much as you can take some time off from the heavy lifting and the high volume activities um, and just like sit on the couch um, just relax uh, and your body is gonna then switch over you'll still have that force capacity because it's gonna stay with you for a few weeks um, you're still gonna have all those gains um, from the weight room but you'll just allow your body to have that fast switch overshoot um, so an example for me is uh, I pretty much lift head routinely heavy all the time. Over spring break, I was writing a vertical jump. My, uh, I was writing vertical jump protocol, and I was basically on the couch all day doing research and writing, uh, making videos. And then I go to the weight room and I do I just film the videos of the exercises I wanted. So the volume was very low. Um, I also kind of play with my nutrition a little bit too, but I did very little training, and my vertical jump shot up. Um, I think three and a half inches in a week. Um, my approach went up quite a bit too. So taking away high volume, high intensity training um, and just kind of like chilling out for a while and the fast twitch fiber overshoot was was pretty major for me. Take time off. It depends on what tells you, you think you need to grind, you need to do it, like no. Um, the fast twitch fiber shoot is a real thing. Uh, the fast twitch fiber overshoot is a real thing and you should use it to enhance your performance.